Dear friends, welcome to Rajashekar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 195. In this lecture, I will continue my discussion on logistic regression. Before continuing last lecture, let me spend few minutes again on logistic regression analysis. Whether you are a market researcher who needs to make accurate predictions about new product launches, a wildlife biologist keen on successful breeding of wolf packs in the Rocky Mountains, you can make a reliable prediction by using logistic regression analysis whether a voter will vote for democrat or republican can be demonstrated through the interpretation of logistic modeling which is based on demographic parameters such as gender age and state of residence of the votes Logistic regression has varied applications in marketing, healthcare, and social sciences. Logistic regression can be used to predict customer retention. The outcome of logistic regression analysis usually measured with, with a dichotomous variable that can assume only two discrete values. Now, let me discuss about managerial use of logistic regression. Just try to recall my previous lecture. Now, I can say I am continuing my previous lecture that is lecture number 194. What does it mean? What is this? What is my y? y is dependent variable. Y equal to 1 means customer using, what is, Y means what? What is dependent variable? Coupon, isn't it? It is related to coupon. This one, Y equal to 1, one means using coupon, 0 means not using coupon. P means, P means probability. Probability that a customer using coupon, this is dependent variable, this X1 and X2 are independent variables. Just try to recall what is your x1 and what is your x2. x1 is annual spending. Just try to recall previous lectures. What is your x1? Annual spending. I can say it is annual spending. What is my x2? Siemens credit card. Just try to recall what is my x2? Siemens credit card. Yes, now what we are doing, we are estimating probability, P means probability, Y means dependent variable, Y equal to 1 means, uh, Y is coupon, means probability that customer using coupon, given that X1 equal to 2, X1 equal to 2 means annual spending is 2 means here $2,000, it is in, in dollars, isn't it, uh, given X1 means spending $2,000, x2 equal 0 means x2 equal 0 means he is not using not using not using Siemens credit card 0 means not using Siemens credit card 1 means using Siemens credit card means we are trying to estimate the probability of a customer using coupon given that given that he is spending two thousand dollars and not uh, x2 means uh, Siemens not using credit card that is 0 0.1880. How can I get this value? Just see, it is simple and straightforward. I already explained, I already explained this particular equation in my previous lecture, y cap equal to this one. Here, I have, what, what's the value of here? This is x1, this is x2. Just I am substituting. In previous slide, just refer previous slide. Here I am substituting. So that what will I get? I will get 0 0.1880. What is the meaning of this one? Just see this one. P means probability. Y equal to Y means coupon. 
probability of the customer using coupon given that x1 equal to 2 means he is spending 2000 dollars x2 equal to 1 means he is using credit card x2 equal to 0 means not using credit card this one is related to not using siemens credit card this is not using siemens credit card what about this one using siemens credit card is it that's the only difference between these two things isn't it using siemens credit card how can i find that particular probability just see here my x1 equal to just refer my previous lecture there we have formulated this particular uh, logistic regression x2 equal to 1 just i am substituting i am getting 0.4099 what does it mean just if you carefully observe this the same case what, what's happening here so what's what, what is happened a person having the credit card is having more probability or more possibility for example without have both in this case one let me say this is case two in a, in both the cases we are trying to estimate the probability of customer using coupon first one is without credit card second one is with credit card with credit card means probability is 0.4099 with uh, without credit card means 0.1800 means uh, i can say like this a probability is indicates that for customer with annual spending 2000 dollars how do you know in both the cases x1 equal to x1 equal to means spending 2000 dollars the presence of siemens credit card here x2 equal to means x2 equal to 1 means it's a presence of siemens credit card x2 equal to 0 means not presence of siemens, siemens credit card presence of siemens credit card increase the probability of using coupon y equal to 1 means what it is related to probability of using coupon isn't it it appears that probability of the coupon is much higher for customers with the siemens credit card just say this these two values i calculated in similar manner in similar manner you can calculate other probabilities for example if i say x1 equal to 1 x1 equal to 1 means uh, that 1000 dollars 1000 dollars that means 1000 dollars x2 equal to 1 means what x2 equal to 1 x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to 1 means what will you get you will get 0. Point this uh, means x2 equal to 1 means he is using credit card x1 equal to 1 means he is spending thousand dollars in that case i am getting 0. 0.3305 when x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to 0 this is no credit card let me say another case x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to 0 1 means spending 1000 dollar x2 0 means he is not using credit card that is this case 0 0.1413 like that we can extend this discussion till 7000 dollars when you look at this figure you see that when you compare the probabilities the person having the credit card there is a more chances that fellow use the coupon yes just see observe this one if you observe these things just see yes means he is using credit card no means he is not using credit card if he is having credit card just see 0 0.3305 is greater than 0 0.1413 0 0.4099 is greater than 0 0.1880 0 0.4943 is greater than 0 0.2457 0 0.5791 is and means if that person possesses credit card he is there is a more possibility there is a probability of uh, using coupon isn't it that that's what it says before interpreting we have to test whether the let me say like this the person is not having the credit card less chance of use the coupon this is one interpretation this is it clearly says if he is having credit card is using the probability of using coupon is more isn't it before interpreting we have to test whether the coefficient of significant significant or not in, in linear regression uh, just recall in linear regression which one we used we used t test and f test isn't it t test for individual significance of individual independent variables Signif to test individual to test significance of individual independent variables isn't it 
gap test is overall significance overall significance of the model i can say overall significance of the model in similar manner here also as i discussed in my previous lecture here i have z test for to test individual variable individual independent variable significance g test for overall model overall model significance as as usual uh, in, in lean uh, 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 as usual what is your uh, null hypothesis your null hypothesis is beta 1 equal to beta 2 equal to 0 Now, alternative hypothesis one or both of the parameters is not equal to this. No, this is not new thing. We we have spent a lot of time on null and alternative hypothesis, isn't it? We will go for uh, G statistics. The test for overall significance is based upon value of G test uh, statistic. This is equivalent to F test uh, statistic in our linear regression model. If null hypothesis is true, the sampling distribution of G follows chi-square distribution. I will discuss about this chi-square distribution in my next lecture. Uh, let me repeat: If null hypothesis is true, what is your null hypothesis? In previous slide, we have show, we have seen. Just see, this is my null hypothesis. It's not beta one equal to beta two equal to zero. If null hypothesis is true. Uh, the sampling distribution of G follows chi-square distribution with the degrees of freedom equal to number of independent variables. Here you must understand your degrees of freedom. You must understand this one. Degrees of freedom equal to number of independent variables. Number of this point is important. Number of independent variables, isn't it? In this case, we have two independent variables, isn't it? Yes. i can say in our problem the number of independent variables are two so the degrees of freedom is two in in our problem what is the degrees of freedom it's two as we have two independent variables so the degrees of freedom is two if there is only one independent variable then the degrees of freedom for g statistic is one now we will try to understand just see this this one we already discussed just see this one if the null hypothesis is true If the null hypothesis is true, the sampling distribution of G follows chi-square distribution with degrees of freedom equal to number of individuals. This I will discuss in my next lecture. That is in chi-square distribution. I will discuss in in my next lecture. That is in lecture number one ninety six. Just see this one. This is the summary of our uh, regression model, isn't it? What is our log log likelihood value? Just understand these two values. Yes, log likelihood value is minus sixty point four eight seven. Log likelihood null value is minus sixty seven point three zero. Even this uh, also we discuss. These are two independent variables, cost and spending. How many independent variables are there? There are two independent variables. Therefore, degree of model is nothing but number of independent variables. This coefficients and standard error and z statistics. These all things I will discuss in my previous. Uh, lecture now in this lecture we will try to understand we will try to understand g statistic just remember these two values these two values are helpful to calculate our g statistics what is your uh, log likelihood value minus uh, 60.487 and ll null value i already discussed in my previous lecture what is ll null value now we will try to calculate g statistics this is our formula for g statistics what it says minus 2 into this can be written as uh, natural logarithm of let me say otherwise like this yes let me say like this which is equal to 2 into ln of this is minus 1 if i m log a means what what is the formula for m log a m log a is log a power m means i can write this one is minus 1 into 2 this minus 1 i can say uh, like this i can write uh, likelihood with the null variable if i send minus 1 here what happen this is equivalent to 2 into ln of likelihood 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 with with the variable with the variable uh, otherwise ln of like this minus ln of likelihood without variables likelihood 
without variable i can say like this without variable what is that value uh, i can say likelihood with variable is minus 60.487 this is in our previous slide we have minus and again what is likelihood with uh, null means minus 67.301 if you calculate your g statistics what will you get you will get 13.628 isn't it the value of g statistic is 13.628 its degrees of freedom is 2 what is the p value p value is 0 0.01 just check in previous slide just see this is my uh, p value p value is double 0. Uh, double zero 001 isn't it that's what it says 0 0.001 which is less than i can say this alpha is alpha means level of significance 0 0.05 this 0 0.01 is less than 0 0.05 therefore you must reject you must reject null hypothesis conclude that the overall model rejecting null hypothesis means what your overall model is significant isn't it this is g statistic I, I will continue my discussion in my next lecture about logistic regression let me stop here itself just go through this lecture if you have any difficulty just keep a comment thank you very much